mad at myself, at Provora, at Mona. Was she worth this? Don't envy you. The way the boss goes on about it. No use going in there to clean it up. It was all connected. The murder of Senator Gate, the cleaners, the inner circle, Vinnie Gogniti. I had to make Winterson see it. Winterson's phone was ringing. She wasn't at her desk. Winterson's phone. Better could get Winterson. She's been kind of edgy about her calls. I think she's in the interrogation room getting a statement from... Number one, thank you. You may step back. They can't see you through the glass. Just take your time. See if you can recognize any of them, okay? Yeah, okay. Number, number two, step forward and speak the line you were given. <laughs> I can't read. Just say the line number one said. You think I was listening? You are nothing but a one-armed bandit. <laughs> Stupid. You're nothing but a one-armed bandit. Thank you. Step back, number two. Number th three. You are nothing but a one-armed bandit. Aren't I supposed to identify any of the men in jumpsuits? That's none of your concern. Just concentrate on the task at hand. Do you recognize any, any of them? Yeah, number three's the one. Okay, Thank we're you. done. Take them away. Okay, ladies, you heard her. This, this way. You can wait here. Some, someone will come to get you once the paperwork is done. I tried to help you, Max, but you didn't listen. Now it's too late. Detective Payne, anything you'd like to add? As I was trying to tell the other detective, the place was crawling with guys in nice and gray overalls. They sure as hell weren't cleaning the place, but she wasn't too keen on listening to me. It's hard to say who was out. They're taking the fall, both of them. Payne was with her when she was arrested. Who are you talking to? You're leaking information. Bravura's too soft on you. I, I was informing the proper authorities on wh what they should know. Stay away from my case, Max. Stay away for your own good. Everything had started out, out as black and white. Somewhere down the road, the line went blurry. The colors started to run, got smudged and gray. Winterson had been above my suspicion. Away, I'm busy. Some of us have worked. I want to report a crime. The lineup was done. Mona was back in her cell. The cells were downstairs. Want to get to the lockup? Press the buzzer by the door. Petersburg will buzz you once you in. Payne here. I need a statement from one of your customers. Mona Sachs. The last pokey down the corridor to your left. <laughs> Max, you've got to get me out of here. You know I can't do that. If I stay here, I'll die. Isn't that a bit melodramatic? Behind bars, I'm a sitting duck. This is as safe as it gets. Come on, Max. Any one of these cops could be on the Inner Circle's payroll. You should know. What's that supposed to mean? You know Alfred Woden. You want, want answers? Call him. He'll verify. I didn't want to have anything to do with Woden. I sh can I use your phone? There's, there's one through the door behind you. You can use that. I need to make a call. You can use this phone. Play some hoops later You've on. reached the voicemail yes, you know, of Senator Alfred Woden. Please leave a message. Woden, Max Payne. We need to have a talk. You, you ask me, you still owe me. Jesus Christ! A bomb? That was a bomb! Upstairs, now! <laughs> Jesus! Upstairs! Something was off. Mona's words on her being a sitting duck kept playing in my head. The bomb had missed.
misdirection written all over. Strap it! Oh! Arm perps in the locker. Officer down. Take him down. Find the bitch. Find her. Kill her. NYPD, drop your gun. Vanished into the night. Without her, I had nothing to go on. I knew where to find her. Have no fear. Vlad is here. The world was getting too small for comfort. Too many coincidences. Bang! You're dead, Max Payne. A giant headed Captain Baseball Bat Boy costume lay in the back seat. Gearing up for Halloween? Max, dearest of all my friends, call it my Trojan horse in the wall. 